Welcome, this is the Escarpment. This is my model railway build channel and I'm your host Jason. So today's video, it's all about the lift up bridge. Now, just putting it out there, this is the first time I've actually built one of these. I've always avoided them like the plague in the past, but it's sort of come time to um, bite the bullet and uh, I really needed it for the design I wanted to do. But uh, look, it, it's a necessary evil. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> you idiot. Shut up. I'm just going to take you through step by step. I've got some film clips that I've put together. So hopefully you'll find it a little bit informative. At the end of it, stick around. I'll sort of give you some of the pros and cons that I've found along the way. So this side over here is basically where the mechanism's going to go for the lift up bridge. I actually started this yesterday, a bit of a story, but uh, to cut it short, pretty much screwed up on where I put the brackets on the mechanism here. And obviously once I started to tilt it up, I had to then go and cut this hole, but even so it was still wasn't enough. Now I didn't want to cut anything further. So I've gone back to the drawing board, cut a new, couple of new pieces out and readjusted where those brackets or the, the pivotal hinges we're going to go but anyway so yesterday was a bit of a, a loss um, but hopefully today uh, will be a little bit more successful so i've cut the hole out that's just enough for the top of the lift up bridge to sort of get past that lip and also the other mechanisms got room there so it can lift 90 degrees all the way Subscribe. originally for those that remembered in my last video these brackets were sort of centered to these blocks and the same as these ones here. Well now, given what I learnt yesterday, I've actually put them up, moved them up to the upper edge. Uh, it gives me just a lot more room and I can now swivel it 90 degrees. So basically what's gonna happen here, these will be attached like so. And what I'm gonna do is shortly put a bit of glue on it get a clamp just to hold it in place and then I'm going to hit it on the other side with a couple of screws and then these are the outside blocks sit like that and that's how it's going to go together and then later on once I get that together these pieces of aluminium strips I've got here these L type these are going to go and be fastened to the edges just to make sure I can maintain the integrity of the lift up bridge and just to keep that bridge nice and flat and straight. Subscribe. So what I'm gonna do now, is move these to the side. I'm gonna actually fix these in place. A bit of glue and then like I said, I'm gonna screw from the other side. Once I've already gone ahead, I've marked my line where these edges need to come up to. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, put some glue on here. that's in place I'll let that sit for a few minutes before I screw and uh, back to do that been about five minutes or so what I'm going to do is just uh, drill and countersink some holes I'll just do end up doing two screws at each end anyway let's get started just gonna screw these together and then I can take the clamps off Okay, that's done. Remove these clamps. It's there, ready to go. As mentioned earlier, I'm gonna put these aluminium strips on. Just need to work out 
they're not going to be going the full length so quite possibly i think i'm going to have them this way and then i'll drill some holes in the aluminium on the bottom and screw them from the bottom just make sure that's totally straight another strip on this side as well Subscribe. there's an actual lip that this top board will sit on and obviously if i left these in place and only cut them to the edge i'd have this in the way and i would need to dig out a trench in the existing wood on the other side of the framework so i've cut these aluminium strip strips to length and you can see down this end there's enough for the lip at the other end that this board will sit on and these two won't get in the way what i've done now i've gone back with the ruler i've marked every nine centimeters probably about one centimeter from each end that was roughly works out to be quite well spaced with the length of each of these extruded aluminium strips what i'm going to do now is go and get the drill press ready get these holes drilled ready for these to be glued and screwed in place subscribe so i've got the holes drilled now it's all ready to go what i'm going to do i'm going to use some gorilla glue and just put some dobs on the back of this strip and then i'm going to screw it into place <laughs> glue dries that should be should hold its place really well okay so that's the uh, the lift out bridge not totally complete obviously I will be using my sound deadening material on top and then the track will go over that uh, I guess these side um, aluminium strips or also if I want to maybe add some girder sidings just to make it look like more of a bridge um, not that I'm going to do a lot of scenery around this but um, you know just for those little touches there's an edge there I can uh, glue that sort of stuff on and maybe who knows maybe I'll do a some sort of design with the, the 3d printing subscribe so look I've cut out a, a little bit of mucking around here I just did that off camera all I've sort of done here is taken the end piece sort of lined it up where I've got the two markers where the the bridge has got to sit between and I've just taken one of the end blocks and just taken a clamp clamped it in place uh, basically I'm just making that top flush with the top here not including the sound deadening material obviously that's got to go on top so it just needs to be flushed with the, the actual board underneath it. And what I'm going to do is glue this in place. But what I'll do first is I'll get underneath. I'll put a couple of screws in just while I've got the clamp there to make sure it's all lined up and stays in place. And then I'll come back, undo the screws, glue it and then screw it back in. Take this off. Yep, that's good. So what I'm gonna do now is glue it and then screw it back in place and then hopefully it should be where it was. Get some glue onto that, just smear that on. Clamp back in place. And I'll screw those two screws back in and then remove the clamp and then put the third screw in. Be good. Take that clamp off. Just gonna increase the torque of this. Hopefully now that's back in place. Got the ball bearing in there. No, I haven't. Where's that fallen out? Oh, bugger. Ah, oh, there it is. 
these little ball bearings are probably any pain in the butt when it comes to this stuff. That looks good. And what I'll need is just, I can't quite pull it up. It's just a little lip, so I'm going to come back and just basically on this end, just take that back a little bit. But I'll do those final adjustments before I put this other side in. Subscribe. So I've come back and I've just put a temp clamp in here and done the other side. And right now I'm just checking out, make sure everything's good. Come back and show you what I'm gonna actually do on this side to line up this bridge. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's reusing some of these brackets, L brackets here, but I'll, I'll show you that very shortly. Before I get back to this, I might take a little bit more off this edge and just make sure, you know, it does actually, I mean, it's good now, but I'll just, it's just a little bit there. I can just slightly feel it touch. What I want to do is just clean that up a little bit more. Subscribe. So I had a bit of a chance just to think before I get this in place, because really once this goes in place, uh, because it's glued and screwed into the joints, it's pretty much, you're gonna have to break it to uh, take it back off. What I've done, I've actually gone back, I've painted up the areas. I just thought it'd be easier painting them now than later on. And what I'm gonna also do is just to give it a little bit more strength in this main spine here, I'm actually gonna take this piece of uh, pine. It's uh, 42 mil by 19 mil. And what I'm gonna do is put it right down the center and obviously I'll give it a 45 cut angle up at this end to make it nice and neat. And I'm gonna glue and screw this one in place as well. And that will just give it a, a nice strong backbone. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go off, do that now, get it in place, screw it in, screw and glue it in, and then basically paint it and then I'll be back. Subscribe. Okay, so you have to bear with the noise, it's raining again outside. Um, but basically I've got that piece of pine in place. Uh, it's all been painted, it's dried, you can see it's all been screwed in from this side as well. I do have some of my uh, sound deadening felt, or rough piece cut out. I'm gonna actually now put that on, put that on top, get it in place, and then I'll probably use some of my uh, hinges as uh, weights to weigh that down, let that dry. So I'm gonna do that now, and you can sort of see over here, I've done the painting on both sides. I've actually just finished putting that end of that fascia on. I've just got to then paint that and just round the, I guess, the edges on the outside down a little bit so make sure no one catches their leg on it, that type of thing. Subscribe. So you can see there, I've got it in place, the sound deadening felt. It's all glued down, just got weights on it now. Just need to wait for that to dry. And then obviously I'm gonna trim up the end, uh, the ends so it's all neat. And then uh, I guess we'll make a start on getting it into place. I still haven't worked out how I'm gonna keep it upright. So I'm gonna need some sort of latch system, but I haven't worked that out yet. But in the meantime, I'll probably just clamp it until I figure out what type of mechanism I need to buy. Subscribe. Just got it lined up, got a clamp on it glued it at the moment it looks pretty good it's lined up on both sides there's m minimal to no movement on that end and then obviously i'll come back and show you what i'm going to do at this end to just keep it aligned what i've got planned is i think at both ends the the bridge itself is probably half a mil uh, higher than the standard board now that can be for a number of reasons i'm going to take one of my not a long blades and I'll get under that sound deadening material and just cut a little bit there and then put a half a mil uh, PVC board or something down underneath there just to raise it a little bit and I think that's at both ends and then I'll get that perfect and then obviously I'll put some glue in there glue it down and then that should be even uh, right across at this end and down this end as well. 
But anyway, that's something you can make little adjustments. But anyway, look, I'm gonna get underneath, I'm gonna get these screws in. Screws are in place. Glued it, so I'll let that set. And basically, I'll come back to this side and show you, I guess, the guides that I'm putting in place just to make sure that gets aligned down this end. Now, there's no movement down this end as far as the board being warped. It moves freely. So, good sign so far. Subscribe. Okay, so we're here at the other end and to keep this side aligned, I'm gonna put these aluminium brackets in. I've already drilled the holes in them and they're going to be placed on each side. So basically when the bridge comes down, it's always going to be right there every time and they'll be used as a guide. So what I'm going to do is just get this side screwed in and then come back and do the other side. Okay, good. No movement there. It'll slot in. And uh, as long as I have the track fast and well on each of these sides, there shouldn't be any issue whatsoever moving forward. So I think I'll come back and what I'm gonna do is I need to find a piece, PVC board, just to put under here, just to raise it slightly. I can just feel there's a slight raise there so what as i said i'm going to get a blade get it under that on this side underneath the sound deadening material lift it up a bit slide the uh i guess the sheet in glue it i guess slide it in weigh it down and away you go and i'll do that to both sides Subscribe. demonstrate so i'm just going to get this blade underneath the sound deadening material just get it in there and cut it roughly to the shape of this piece of plastic board. Then I'm gonna slide, glue it on both sides, slide it under and just weigh it down. And then that should just bring up where the track's gonna run over and you can see the edge where the track is coming in onto the bridge. And that should raise it just enough to basically not have any minor lip there. Should be good. Lay that edge down. Once that's dry, I'll clean that up. So now I'm just going to do the other side. I'm not going to put it on camera, but it's basically just going through the same technique. With the track lane, I'm probably going to come back in another video to do that. But anyway, look, let's go back to the chair. So that's the, the lift up bridge to date. Uh, I still have got to, I mean, it's obvious, I've got to lay the track and get the electrical wiring in there. I'm still sorting through that type of design. Uh, I think that will be another video uh, today. I think we'll just finish off with the, the physical bridge in place. I still need to come back and do the latch system to hold it up there right now i've just got a, a small clamp i've got a small clamp also that i'll bolt on this side just as the bridge comes down i can just pull it down all the way so it doesn't move and sort of stops it from shifting that type of thing uh, and that'll be on that end so lessons learnt um being my first time building that thing Overall, it wasn't too bad. I don't know if I was going to do it again. I don't know whether I'll use those pivotal um, hinges. They're, they're really for vertical doors, not so much horizontal um, lift up bridges like that. It was a bit of a pain really trying to get it dialed in correctly at the, the end where the, the hinges are. Uh, the problem with those things, there's, there's no room for finer adjustments, anything like that. So I think if I was ever going to do this again, yeah, I'd probably re-look really at what type of hinge I would actually use on it. 
But for now, look, it's in place. It's really well lined up now. There was a, you know, a lot of little things I had to do to sort of get it right, but it's there, it's in place. It should, you know, it should last quite a while. Um, but at the end of the day, if it doesn't, then, you know, I'll back to the drawing board and uh, come up with another design. You know, as long as I'm not lifting it 50 million times per day, it, it should go the distance. But anyway, other than that, that's been my experience to date. Hasn't been a bad one. So uh, I think I'll leave the video there. Be kind to each other. Bye for now. Cheers.